Hi all, this is Lori Sebastian and I put together another one of these um, videos to depict a network time lapse. Um, I want to increment our payment center that uh, we formerly uh, built in previous videos. I want to increment this forward and um, build out this network, see what it looks like and we're going to do this without creating any resources at AWS. If we're happy with the state that we end up with, with all the, the resources um, depicted properly and connected properly, um, then we can choose to create the network. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our basic network. Let me stop the auto refresh here. Uh, and again, this is blast radius. Uh, I introduced this um, uh, Terraform vis visualizer in my last videos. So we're using blast radius um, to do our visualizations and um, what, we, what we have here is the basic network which is a web front end which has connectivity to the database. Um, so public goes to private database and there's a NAT server that allows external connectivity to the database. So external connectivity to the database, um, front end web. So that's our basic simplified network. And we're going to turn this into a more sophisticated payment center. So let's just, let's get this going. And we're going to watch and see how our network uh, evolves over time. So what I'm going to do is turn on the auto refresh again. That's going to control this and let's launch the time lapse. So this particular uh, time lapse script ensures that uh, blast radius is running uh, before it gets moving. So it's actually refreshing blast radius. The console can sometimes freeze and so um, it's actually refreshing it and uh, making sure that it's operational. So we've already made some changes. Our initial network of web, NAT, and uh, database is now um, improved by adding some DynamoDB tables uh, to handle credit processing customer um, information and client information and addresses. We just added authorizations and payments, so auth and payments. These are instances that uh, are sitting in the private network in the same availability zone, which would be 1B. What did we just... Okay, we're still on authorizations. Now we're adding a nightly batch process. The nightly batch process will appear on the private uh, network on uh, the 1B availability zone and then it will disappear. Here it is. It's right here as an instance. We're actually going to download this and um, be able to zoom in once the network gets a little bit more mature. So uh, I'll point it out because I've run this a hundred times so I know where everything is. Um, we're adding uh, an availability zone this would be to the US East 1A availability zone. And we're also going to add a second database in that zone. So our first database was in uh, the US East 1B availability zone. Our second database is going to be in 1A. And I believe we are pretty much at the end state of our network. So actually we need to remove uh, a batch process. So our batch processing instance, although tiny, is still here. probably best to use these 
to zoom in and zoom out, but because we have our auto refresh going, they're sort of canceling each other. So the last thing is that the nightly batch processor was removed. So we should have DynamoDB tables. Uh, we should have authorizations, payments. Uh, we should have RDS databases for Maria and MySQL. So let's see what we have. These are security groups. So we see all the security groups. But I actually want to look at the instances, which would be over here, these orange ones. So we have web. We have the second database, US1A private as our subnet. So that's uh, in the availability zone 1A, which was not present when we started. And if we compare that to our database that existed before, this one was in the US East 1B private. So this is here, and this is here, and that's what we want. Um, the authorizations, private. Payments, private, database, um, this DB2 is there, and we have a, a few other things here. So those are all in the right place. Let's go over here. We have our DynamoDB table for credit, clients, and address, and we have our MySQL RDS and Maria RDS database instances. So we've incremented, I'm going to just refresh this manually. So we've incremented our network from the basic three nodes to all of this, and we like it. So um, the connectivity seems to be there. It's uh, designed to our specifications at this point. So um, if we look in AWS console, this is under DynamoDB. I'm going to refresh. We don't have anything here. If I go to EC2, we don't have anything here. If I look at my VPCs, we just have the default one, but not the new one that we're going to create. And RDS. AWS likes to spin, spin, spin. Okay, good. We'll be patient. Uh, but there's nothing under RDS. So we did our network time lapse and we created um, only conceptual design. We have not actually implemented this or built any of it just yet. So um, actually I've decided that I'm going to put that in a separate video. It might go a little long. So uh, thank you.